right now I'm outside of my house. It's about 72 degrees in the shade. Um, it's crazy. It's February, it's upstate New York. It's supposed to be freezing cold. But listen, I'm not complaining. I'm definitely not complaining. So, you may recall some time ago I did a video about um, this screen being wobbly on this camera. And as you can see, the screen is no longer wobbly. So I did have this repaired by JVC and I just wanted to talk about my experience. Now in the other video, you already know that I went through some lengths to try to get this thing repaired and it took some time, but I just wanted to, uh, just wanna get my list out here. I just want to thank the Academy. Uh, no, actually I just want to thank a few YouTubers for trying to help me out. But uh, first, uh, the first one who reached out to me was Fizz Ed. Um, he actually sent me a message on YouTube and told me to reach out to uh, Craig Yanagi at JVC. And he said to do that either through LinkedIn or dvinfo.net. I tried dvinfo.net at first and it just did not work. I could not create an account. It didn't work properly. So I just used LinkedIn and I, I caught up with him and I'll tell you about how that went. But I also want to thank um, Gan Eden Media because he had the same suggestion. Um, so thank you. And to all the rest of the people that commented and tried to help me and also told me of their experiences in the comments, I really appreciate you guys reaching out to me and trying to help. But um, once I did get in contact with Craig on LinkedIn, uh, he was very, very responsive to the issue. And um, basically he, he said, I'm sorry that you're going through that. Uh, go ahead and send me your phone number and I'll have someone reach out to you immediately. So let's just kind of put this in perspective. So I reached out to Craig on LinkedIn and I say like maybe within a day, maybe, yeah, I feel like a day, maybe less than a day. It was probably like a few hours. He got back to me immediately. And then once I gave him my phone number, literally, I would say in two minutes, within two minutes, I got a call from someone at JVC. And the person on the phone told me, hey, listen, it's definitely under warranty. I'm gonna send you a um, shipping label so you can get it over there as soon as possible. Uh, well, I wasn't able to get it there as soon as possible. And that's why this video is coming out so much later than the first video I made. And that's because I had a few shooting gigs and they were lined up um, throughout the end of the year. So I couldn't send it in because I couldn't be without my camera. I had something lined up like almost every week. So after all that stopped and everything slowed down, I then sent the camera in. Um, they got the camera probably within a day. He gave me an over, overnight label. So it only took a day to get all the way to California and I'm in New York. So they got it quickly. Then I got an email very quickly saying, hey, we got your camera and we're going to repair for you. You'll have it in a couple of days. Well, he said, we'll be done in a couple of days. So then they shipped it back. Um, they shipped it ground, which is fine. So it took a few days to get back to me, but all in all it was like a week and a half and I got my camera back. So I was very, very happy. Um, Unfortunately, when I got it back, and you can't really, you can't tell because it's been fixed since then, but what happened was I, I got the thing back and let's see if I get this to focus. And basically right here, the mount where you put the, um, where you put the handle in, they, they assembled it improperly. So this couldn't slide in. And uh, boy, I was not very happy about that. So I reached out immediately and I said, hey, you know, um, I got the camera back, thank you. Um, thank you for quickly repairing it. But unfortunately you repaired one thing, which is the screen and you broke something else. Uh, you know, the guy was totally apologetic and he said, you know what, I'll send you a label, send it right back to us, we'll repair it. Um, my concern was, is that when they assembled it improperly, they didn't only make it so that I couldn't get the handle back in, they actually cracked the top of this. You can't see the crack anymore because it's been repaired, but they cracked the top of it. And I, and I told him, I was like, you know, you broke my camera. Uh, I really don't want it back, you know, in a condition that I didn't originally send it to you. You know, you cracked it. I don't want it, I don't want it cracked. <laughs> they actually re replaced the top housing and they fixed the, the, uh, the problem that they, they caused and they sent it back. So I was very happy with that. Um, it was a little annoying, you know, to send it there for one thing, get it back, and then it's broken with another thing. But they they fixed it pretty quickly and um, didn't give me any uh, trouble 
didn't say, hey, it was like that when we got it or anything like that. They just fixed it. They did right. So all in all, you know, the thing is repaired, just so you guys know. Uh, I don't like the fact that it took so long to get it repaired. And um, it was so hard and I had to go through, you know, DV info. And then I had to go through LinkedIn. And then, I, you know, I got to go through like the higher ups to get service. Uh, I'm not in love with that, but I am in love with this camera. <laughs> so I really do think it's a great camera. So I'm happy that it's repaired and I really don't plan on selling it. Hopefully, um, if anything else happens to it down the line, I won't have any, an experience like that again. But, you know, things happen. I'm sure all manufacturers, you know, make mistakes or whatever. Uh, but anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. And I guess I'll see you soon.